In this video, we will be testing the low light capabilities of a 360 video on the GoPro Max versus the Insta One, Insta 360 One X. So make sure you set it to the very highest resolution possible on your mobile device. And on this GoPro Max right here, it is, has been filmed on a 5.7K, 24 frames per second. ISO has been set to a maximum of 800. I'm not allowing it to go higher than an ISO of 800 because that is the most that I can tolerate on a small sensor device like this GoPro Max. And for the audio wise, uh, wind protection, wind reduction has been set to off so that the audio is not so compressed. How is it performing in low light? Is the visual quality, is the image quality still good? How is the stabilization on this GoPro Max when it is under low light and uh, very challenging conditions? I am walking pretty much normally so do understand that i am not a professional photographer i'm not a professional videographer or a 360 expert nowhere like this that's what i'm not i just use my 360 to take travel videos videos of my family my kids and of my social media happenings and i'll be taking a ride on the swing here i've got a swing right here and you can see how the stabilization works on this swing in very challenging conditions. How is the horizon leveling? How is the stabilization working? Is it uh, being stabilized here? And the image quality, is it turning to mush yet? What about the audio quality? How is the audio quality? And we will be comparing it with the Insta 360 One X. This is a 360 test of the low light capabilities of a 360 VR video on the Insta 360 One X. How is it performing under this very, very challenging low light condition? This is shot at 5.7K, 24 frames per second. Shutter speed is set to auto and ISO is at a maximum of 800. That is the maximum that I can tolerate on a small sensor camera like this which you know just turns to mush at anything above ISO 800 so the maximum is set to ISO 800 white balance is set to automatic shutter speed is automatic everything is set to automatic how is the audio performance how is the walking stabilization as I move through the different light from white to yellow is the auto white balance compensating for it and as I walk is the stabilization keeping up and I will also be doing a little swing test in a little while have a look at the details of the grass of the trees is it still there is the detail still there under this very challenging condition so we are not going to be expecting much from a small sensor like the GoPro Max as well as the Insta360 ONE X but you know hopefully it will be good enough for people like myself who is just taking 360 videos and photos for uh, family trips, travels as well as a family outing and social media feeds. So now I will be having a little ride on the swing and we can have a look at the flow state stabilization and see if it's better than the GoPro Max. So this is a real world test. I've not been paid for this. I'm not a professional in this. It's just an ad hoc around my neighborhood that I'm doing. So let me know in the comments below which you think is better. Is it worth spending a lot more money and upgrading to the GoPro Max if you already have an Insta360 One X.